Prior to applying, open both of the side Velcro panels. Keep the shoulder straps attached and extend to maximum length. With patient standing, lift the TLSO over the patient's head and lower the TLSO into position. Let the front panel and back panel hang over the torso. Close both of the compression side panels so that they are even and comfortably snug on the front panel. Adjust the sternal Y bar by pulling up on the release button to release the sternal bar lock. Slide the sternal Y bar into position so that the top of the sternal pad fits half an inch below the sternal notch. Be sure to keep the bottom edge of the front panel aligned with the pubic bone. Adjust the shoulder straps. Start by releasing and adjusting the back Velcro straps first and then adjust the front Velcro straps. Be sure to maintain the bottom edge of front panel with the pubic bone and the back panel between shoulder blades and lower back. To activate compression, have the patient grasp the pull handle and pull straight out from the torso. After the desired level of compression has been achieved, fasten the pull handle to front portion of the compression panels. Adjust compression after five minutes, then readjust as needed. To remove the brace, release the pull handle, open one of the side Velcro panels, and remove one of the shoulder straps. Slide the brace off the other shoulder like removing a jacket or backpack. If needed to modify the waist belt, adjust the side panels by unhooking the Velcro on the back panel and moving panels more center for a smaller waist or closer to the edge of the back panel for a larger waist. Sternal bar. The sternal bar may be bent as needed by using a stable edge of table. Using both hands, Bend the bar in a slow and controlled fashion to adjust to desired degree of offset. The stock sternal Y-bar is set at 15 degrees.